Potter fans, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, today we have another discussion video on our hands on a very exciting Harry Potter news. And you know, I usually don't do news videos, except when I'm super excited about something, and this just happens to be one of those cases. Today, we have the leaked pictures of the new Hogwarts icons set. And I have to say, this set, although I don't really want to say it, it's actually much better than the Diagon Alley from last year in my mind right now. But, I mean, the Diagon Alley was great with all those minifigures, but this right here just kind of captures my heart in terms of like just going to USJ back then and seeing all those stuff. And I didn't actually get any potions from my trip to Universal Studios, the Wizarding World over there. And that was always something that I was a bit disappointed by. And I just really want to get potions. So recently I've just been watching a lot of those Peter Cannon videos and just thinking of buying like certain kind of potions replicas from online on eBay. As you can see from this picture right here. And right now since this set has come out, I don't need to do so because I can get Lego potions now. Lego Harry Potter potions. Who would have thought that would become a dream. But yeah, it's gonna become reality and it's so amazing, I cannot believe it. Just look at this set right here. This is the full picture with Hedwig over there, the Hogwarts letter, a, a snitch, and then otherwise we also have nice potions as well, a wand, some brick built books, and also some, um, I'm guessing the yellow and red one might be a bookmark of some sort, which is pretty cool. And then otherwise moving on to the next picture, this is the back view of the set. As you can see, Hedwig's feathers right there looks absolutely impeccable for the amount of details as well. And if we look closer, we can actually see that there's another small addition to this set as well, which is the chocolate frog to this set. Absolutely amazing. I, I'm just so surprised that this set exists. And then next picture, we also see that there's actually three golden figure provided in this set. Dumbledore, Hagrid, and Professor McGonagall. And yeah, Lego kind of just put up a spider web if you think about it. We are the flies that go into their spider web and just kind of wrapping us up. And we can never get out of it because I'm definitely going to buy this set either way to get those golden figures. And since I absolutely love the set, why not, right? It's probably going to cost around like $250 to $300 though, so no debt. Otherwise, in the next picture, we also have all of this potion making materials and potions right here. On the left, we have the Powder Asphodel, then we have the Gillyweed, the Powder Juice Potion, and then we have the Worm Good Infusion, and lastly, the Felix Felicis. So the Powder Asphodel and the Worm Good Infusion are actually used in the Drought of Living Death Potion. Otherwise, for the Gillyweed, it's actually famous in the second task of the Triwizard Tournament in the fourth movie, and Harry Potter needed it to breathe underwater to save his friends. And for Polyjuice Potion, well, we know a lot, quite a lot about it. First of all, it was actually used in the fourth movie as well by Bartimus Crouch Jr. to actually, you know, pick as Alistair Moody and all. And I actually loved the character inside the movie. And yeah, it was kind of a shame he was a fake, but you know, Bartimus did a good job on it. Otherwise, Felix Felicis is actually famous for, I think, the sixth movie when Harry Potter basically won it from Stockhorn. And then otherwise, well, used it to kind of make Slughorn give out the secret of Tom Riddle. And then bottom over there, we have the Hogwarts Ladder. And yeah, the Hogwarts Ladder is actually in the next picture right here. It looks fantastic. There's the deer part of this, you know, whole thing. And then there's, of course, like, you're invited to be a student at Hogwarts Mystery, I mean, not Hogwarts Mystery, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and all. And yeah, it's actually written by Professor McGonagall, so I'm guessing this is actually kind of the same style as the one introduced in the game Hogwarts Mystery when you first enter the game. And I'm thinking that McGonagall might be actually the one in charge of writing letters instead of the Headmaster Dumbledore. So that's a nice information to give. And I'm actually thinking that this might be actually just a paper by itself. Uh, might be some sort of like, you know, laminated paper of some sort by Lego. But yeah, this is probably not a brick piece of any kind, so it's pretty cool in appearance, I would say. And then otherwise, over here as well, we have the main picture for the box. And 
yeah this looks very mature in appearance and as you can tell there's 3010 pieces so that is probably why it will cost around 250 to 300 usd because i'm thinking that uh the price to piece ratio will probably be, be pretty good because this set only has three minifigures at all so the inflation won't be as much as well and then if we look closely at this picture right here we can see that there's another item provided in this set as well other than the ones i already mentioned which is of course Harry Potter's glasses right there. Look absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, kind of funny appearance in brick big form, honestly. Moving on to the next picture, we also get to see the back view of the box. And I have to say, I might be actually keeping the box once I get this set. It looks interesting and yeah, it just looks almost as good as the Diagon Alley box. And then you can see that there's actually a stand for the three minifigures that we will be getting in this set with the middle part for Albus Dumbledore kind of looking like a wizarding card by itself. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's all for the pictures for the set. Really excited to actually get it and review it later on during this year. And yeah, it's just such a nice thing to wake up to this morning. The moment I saw this on my pal the Brickman 1999's post right here, I just wanted to talk about it. So shout out to him for this. Like, this is just so cool, honestly. Like, this was my first thought. This is just the fantastic set of this year, and probably the best set I would say for 2021. So, sorry to Daily Bilgo, because I'm probably not gonna get it this year, unfortunately. I'm going to save money to buy this set right here, and I'm gonna put it up somewhere in my room so that it looks majestic as it is. And yeah, that's all for my review today. I mean, my news video today. So if you like it so far, please do subscribe to my channel. If you don't, leave a comment on how I can improve. Nox Lumos, and I'll see you on a jolly next adventure. Bye!